to reading what you've got to say, and I hope you have a nice Sunday. I'll be back in about an hour's time, and meanwhile, over to Michaela. Thanks very much, Rowan. That was great. It's great that you're all sending your letters in. We like lots of letters and pictures and things. And Rowan, as she said, will be joining us a little later on this morning for more Sunday comment. But we've got some pictures here. Talking of pictures and things, we've got some Batman pictures. And they're absolutely brilliant. There's this one. Are we looking at that one on that? Right. This is from Vicky Swan, and it's a zlop, but it is so bright. It's wonderful. Thank you very much, Vicky. I like that one. It's one of my favourites, I think. And this one is from San Critchley, who's seven years old from London, and that says, Mega Biff. In fact, mega seems to be a pretty in word at the moment, doesn't it? OK, now it's time for the second instalment of yesterday's Batman story. Commissioner Gordon has been cast under the spell of the Siren, who is a beautiful sea goddess, played by who else but Joan Collins. We spotted her yesterday, didn't we? Will Batman and Robin fall prey to her evil whale? Let's find out. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Tell me comics. Everyone loves a wind-up. At the first sign of a cold, take Beecham's powders or Beecham's powders capsules and feel better, fast. I wish, I wish I had a lovely surprise. Something to play with. And some chocolate. Kinder is everything a kid could wish for. Because inside, there's a lovely surprise to play with. And lovely chocolate. With more milk and less cocoa. And now with Mickey Mouse and all his friends, a new surprise, a Kinder surprise. Hey, Ronald! Where are you going? To McDonald's. I've got to get there before Hamburglar. Oh, there'll be no hamburgers left for my friends. Oh, this is a shortcut. This is the shortcut, Ronald. <laughs> rubble, rubble. Where's Hamburglar, then? <laughs> Looks like he's cut and run. By the left, quick, march. Left, left. Uh, right. Tell me, comics. Everyone loves a wind-up. A is for alpha, B is for bites. See for yourself that they taste just right. D is for dinner, E is for eggs. Lettuce so tasty from A through to Z. Crisp golden potato and fluffy inside. Oven baked, grilled or fried. Made by bird's eye, you can't buy better. And called alpha bites, cos each one's a letter. Went to the bathtub, guess what I saw? What? Scribbled sticks, well, I started to draw. I scribbled. Oh, I wash. Wash, 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 Scribble on my hands, scribble on my face. Scribble and wash all over the place. Scribble sticks, washable soap crayons from Tony. Oh, you yeah, these. And they taste delicious. Not hungry. Mr. Kipling does make exceedingly tempting pies. Whichever kind of cough you may have, Vino's have a non-drowsy formula to suit, because no one knows more about coughs than Vino's. And they're off. <laughs> Completely off their rockers. Toby Comics. Everyone loves a wind-up. He's seeing Joan Collins in the Batman thing, eh? That was impressive, wasn't it? Anyway, at 8.30, David Frost will be here for Frost on Sunday. But now it's time to join the Fonz in Monday, Tuesday, happy days.